Um, oh shit! Is that happening? Yeah, WNBC. <clears throat> Jesus. This is the fun stuff right here. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome <laughs> back to the fans. And <laughs> what happened there? Well, I think you forgot how to say everybody. Did I? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Fans in Motion podcast, the only podcast you didn't know you needed. I look at my friends here and I say, why am I complaining? I got money and I'm funny. I'm semi good looking. Keeps me good and lucky. Say hello, Josh. All right. If you can name that song, I'll be impressed. Is that Lucky Man? No. I don't know. Uh, Is that Night Ranger? It is Night Ranger. I I dug deep on this one. (laughs) Is this Hole in the Sun? (laughs) Not that deep. What song does Josh hate the most? Lyrics. <laughs> that's yeah, I did. That's kind of how I did it. Monkey or Kong? <laughs> Kong. At least oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh. Kong. Uh, you know my uh, my favorite of Night Ranger tunes. Ape, um, ape based songs. Yeah, you know. Uh, Primate gotta, ones. Always, Primate, yeah. Always got us. <laughs> Yeah, that and songs about marsupials always, uh, you know, have a soft spot in my heart. But hey, I am doing well. Um, And look, who we have, we have, we're in. Well, first of all, Brent is what is is his daughter play basketball or she cheerlead? It is, uh, from my understanding, it's an honors award. She is. Oh, uh, all right. I I think it's honors, like it's just grades or something. But she she's in basketball, right? She's a cheerleader. All right. So all right. So he's he's. (laughs) So, okay, so is that his child then, if she's getting honors awards? She's smart and peppy, yes. Holy <laughs> cow. Um, but, yes, yeah, so Brent wasn't able to join us tonight, but we are introducing uh, two new members of Fans in Motion who are going to join us every week, or you know how sometimes Andy can't make it or Brent can't make it, and we're putting them into the uh, rotation so we have a little bit more flexibility so most of you already know the uh the lady over here to my kind of left on the screen um affectionately knowing known as rock and robin uh everybody welcome the ravishing robin there uh most a, a fellow buckeye most of everybody that watches the podcast knows her already and uh, the first time on the podcast she's nervous <laughs> She's nervous. I can tell. Um, I like the, uh, you know, the blue and orange uh, combination behind you. Uh, Welcome the lovely Lisa. Um, Most of you know. (laughs) We don't have any sound effects. Yeah. (laughs) uh, Most of you, if you go to the shows, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, you've met Lisa and Daryl. Lisa you know, we've had many conversations and she always asks some good questions. And um, I thought if I'm going to bring more people on, let's bring people on who smell good. And, you know, uh, girls just usually smell better. So uh, there we go, Lisa and Robin, uh, welcome. And uh, all is going to be uh, good. I got, I got a good feeling about this. Um, so Lisa, we're, you're, you're the only one that's not a buckeye right right um this this is horrible uh <laughs> who, made, who made that decision but uh, she's buckeye near well yeah adjacent adjacent <laughs> she's um, here enough it's okay because they exactly. play here enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah well you know i should be an honorary uh, one yeah yeah ohio <laughs> pennsylvania kentucky we're all just west virginian refugee camps um <laughs> so uh um Lisa, when did you get into Night Ranger? Well, I always have liked them. Um, I wasn't even aware of them until Sister Christian came out on, you know, the radio and MTV. 
Now, how can but, that be possible if you're only 29? I know. It's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Do the math. I don't know. <laughs> well, but, here, um, let, let's, let's do the math. How old is your oldest son? My oldest son is 29. He'll be 30 this year. And but we're the same age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, share the good news, too. Um, about my grandbaby on the way. Is that what well, you mean? No, <laughs> that ain't nothing. Well, no, that's, that's about, a good thing I can think of. <laughs> about being on fans in motion. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, the grandbaby, uh, how, how long until the, uh, little one starts singing night ranger? Oh, it'll <laughs> only be a couple months. Probably I'll have her singing it. <laughs> All right. Um, and so they know the sex already. Yes. And. It's a girl. Ooh, yeah. she's sister Christian. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, congratulations on <laughs> on that. When was the first time you saw Night Ranger? <laughs> when the first Danny Rupepi show Holy was my first cow. show. Really? Yeah. Really? We had tickets a couple of times during COVID and they kept getting canceled. So the shows kept getting canceled and we kept getting tickets somewhere else. We had tickets for um somewhere in nevada we had tickets for um in Did you? louisiana somewhere it wasn't new orleans it was somewhere else but they kept the shows kept getting canceled the best thing about louisiana is you can walk around going dang on no <laughs> one cares uh talk about dang old damn louisiana man <laughs> home where you make it no you actually <laughs> almost make it no 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 home is where you make it uh so did you guys go to arizona yeah, we went All to right. Arizona. That was after the Danny Rupepi show. All right. Um, I, I thought that somewhere that's rambling around in there. Yeah. You know, instead <laughs> of shit, I really need to know. Um, well, like I said, most of uh, a lot of people that are on, you know, watch the podcast know you and Daryl and Nolan. He's been <laughs> at a few shows as yeah. well. I remember, I mean, he, he went toe to toe with me drinking at the, uh, <laughs> At the, he, he can at the, throw him back well, i tell you what man you know and i remember i bought him a budweiser and he just threw it down in the ground and said he wanted an old mill i'm like okay buddy uh but uh all right so uh before we get into the night ranger news and minutia minutia and all that good stuff uh guitar legend jeff beck passed away um he was either today or yesterday but right. the, today. it was announced today um oh and uh now jeff beck was a little bit beyond you know my time uh but all the guitarists that you know i enjoy you always saw jeff beck on the yeah. list brad big influence from jeff beck um ace um yeah and uh I'm pretty sure Mick Mars said it too, but don't. Oh, me. Mick Mars, a big Jeff Beck guy. Yeah. And um, so all those guys we listen to influenced by Jeff Beck. Um, he's always been on my like list of people to dig into. Like most recently, my, you know, guy that, all right, I've never got into this person. I'm going to start digging into it is Frank Zappa. All right. Mm -hmm. None of my family ever listened to Zappa. And so I started listening to Zappa and I'm just like, not quite getting it now. Why, why am I not getting it? Maybe I'm not on the right kind of narcotics. I don't yeah. know. That's probably That's a good possibility, but also it's time frame. You know, this stuff may have been revolutionary in 72, but now, you know, I've heard stuff that's come out after it and, you know, it just follows a certain path. And, uh, so I actually was talking to, I think I told a story about getting coffee with Jack and Kelly somewhere um, in Troy. Was, and, oh. uh, <laughs> and uh, but I brought that up, you know, cause you know, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, wait a second, you know, these guys are of the age where that would have been something they would have been exposed to. And they named off a few songs, but I don't think they were, you know, big fans. Uh, David Prater, the lost interview, David Prater was a big Zappa fan and told stories. But anyways, Jeff Beck is one of those guys. And uh, Jeff Beck's got a crazy career. Um, he replaced Eric Clapton in the Yardbirds. Yeah. Um, I think Jimmy Page replaced him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, he's in the Hall of Fame twice. Well, he'd probably be in with the Yardbirds. Is uh -huh. he in by himself? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I know that he was considered for the stones. Um, I think either when um, Brian died or when Mick left, Mick Taylor. Uh, and, you know, I did, you know, you know, talk a little bit uh, with text with Brad today and like his Jeff Beck album is blow by blow. So if you want to go <clears throat> dig in and see, you know, what influenced him blow by blow would be one of those albums. Sammy Hagar's uh, talked about the album truth. <clears throat> so when I listened to some of it today, um, I heard, I don't know if you guys know who Tommy Bolin is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From T-Rex, uh, right? No, that's, uh, oh, wait, hard uh, <laughs> uh, Tommy Bolin, um, did a lot of jazz stuff with like, uh, uh, Billy Cobham. And he replaced Richie Blackmore in um, Deep Purple for a record. And most people know, you know, Tommy's music from a song called Teaser, which Motley Crue covered back in the early 90s. Um, but anyways, so Tommy Bolin released a solo record in like 76 called um, Teaser. And that album to me, I, I've, I always loved, like, I remember me and Eric Levy listening to it because it does have some jazz influences to it and just fucking, you know, he was digging it. And it reminded, you know, when I listened to Jeff Beck, which came out five years earlier, I heard that influence, you know, on Tommy's record. Like, oh, I've heard this before, but this is the original. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, and yeah, I think it's like Hall of Fame speech when he got inducted with the Yardbirds. You know, he was like, you know, I don't care. They fired me fuck them you know like that was like uh but that's what you know he went and that's what he said on stage um and then andy you said where you kind of know uh, yeah so Jeff uh a lot of us coming out of the 80s would know uh, maybe we didn't know it at the time but we we know of uh, jeff beck's guitar stylings on the the blaze of glory soundtrack from john bon jovi uh he's all over that thing those those great mm -hmm. solos the, the the famous blaze of glory yeah. Yeah. That's all Jeff well, Beck. Um, and he famously doesn't use a pick. He plays with his thumb. He, I think he does all the solos, and I yeah. think Auto Nova does the rhythms. Could be. Um, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that's how yeah. it is. Uh, but, but I know uh, I actually went down a little small rabbit hole today looking for Beck clips because everybody's posting them. And I wanted to post what I know Beck for, and there's there's a lot of uh, home Loser? footage. I'm sorry? Loser? No, that's me. No, uh, no loser, baby. Uh, but there's a lot of home <laughs> video footage from the studio of Beck, Jeff Beck playing the solos for Bon Jovi solo album. You can you can go back mm -hmm. and watch him That's play cool. it over. Yeah. Can you imagine doing a solo record and hey, uh, I'm gonna have Jeff Beck and Nauta Nova. And um, he had Little Richard on it too. Yeah. It's a really good uh record, especially side A. Um it, it is if you if you like Bon Jovi, that's a great uh, yeah. Just a great front to back uh, album from John Bon Jovi. If you side, if you like him, side two, you know, I guess I had the cassette back in the day. That's why I'm talking yeah. more like this. Uh, side two, like had Blood on Blood, I think, which was a really good track. But side A, you know, uh, had um, you know Blaze of Glory, Blood Money, mm -hmm. uh, Miracle, yeah, and I forget what the opening track was. And there's a, one more track, but anyways. Uh, I digress. Great record. That's probably where a lot of people um, may know Jeff Beck from. But he was still touring. I know he was in Cincinnati in October. Uh, yeah, so... he's one of those ones you regret. Like, oh, I'll, I'll catch him in the next time around. And, uh, you know, we've talked about it many times before. Like, you know, people get out there and see these acts because yeah. you don't know when you may not see them again. <laughs> especially yeah, but, night ranger i go I mean, see him as much as possible so i can say i saw him a hundred yeah. times <laughs> well get out and come see your favorite people and fans of motion because uh who knows how long me and andy and brent will be <laughs> around with our uh, asses. Yeah, I, I health issues i may not be here <laughs> um jeff you know uh fucking uh mick jagger may be coming to you know your funeral um <laughs> and keith yeah. yes he, robin and lisa what you don't realize is he's just auditioning you two to replace me <laughs> he's I'm like let's see who i got chemistry with because uh yeah. if this guy goes down yeah 
I'm like, I'm not hey. stopping the show. I'm like, one of the, the odds are one of us fat fucks are going to die. Soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, but yeah, uh, you're going to see this like the next three, four years, you're going to see, you know, see this, but after the next three or four years, the 10 years after that, it's going to be a lot. So we uh, yeah. Our, us. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, you know, Hey, you know, thanks for tuning in to escape reality. Um, you're going <laughs> to fucking die before you know Funerals it. Funerals in motion. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, shit, was that on? I, I thought I turned that off. That's my bad. Um, hey, uh, hey, Lisa, why do, uh, why do men die before their wives? Because they want to. Oh. Uh, to whom? <laughs> Um, gonna... There we go. You know what's worse though than the male chauvinist pig, a woman that doesn't do what she's told. <laughs> so, um... Ashley, you're stop. <laughs> wow, I can I can hear the viewership dropping. <laughs> That's the only reason why I brought females on the podcast so I can get them jokes out of the way. Um, <laughs> you know. Uh... <laughs> You know, next I'll eat my fries. <laughs> yeah, next, next, I'll start bringing in a uh, different uh, religion. You know, people yeah. with different religions and stuff, so I can get those <laughs> ones out of the way. Um, so, Night Ranger news. What do we got in the news? Well, some tour dates have been announced. Um, the probably the most recent one is the uh, Anaheim show. Which is it at the at the beginning of a three day um, a three day stretch for them? But anybody going to the Iowa show in January? Wow, no, no. <laughs> That's a, too many states over for me. <laughs> Man, the winking lizards like ten minutes down the street from me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's still nothing um, announced around the January twenty eighth show in iowa i thought there would be but it looks like it's just going to be a one-off but um obviously the big show that you're going to see at least me and andy at is the february 5th show at the ryman auditorium in nashville former home of the grand Ole opry um, a lot of history there elvis played there in the 50s uh, obviously every country act you can think mm -hmm. of um, now the grand Ole opry it moved like in the 80s out to opry land usa yeah. on the outskirts and they redid the Ryman maybe 10, 15 years ago and now have concerts there. It's right downtown Nashville, um, right off the strip. Uh, a lot of history there. The country yeah. acts would go do their song and then walk out the side door into the back door of Tootsies and, and drink and then, you know, cross the alley again. So uh, definitely if you have the opportunity to go February 5th, to Nashville um, at the Ryman go, I'm going just to see the venue you know i mean that's my little you know I'm like have you yeah. ever been josh never been to the rhyme i mean i've been to it i've never gone inside oh um um horribly uncomfortable seating just oh yeah know that you, going in it's not comfortable it's church pews it used to be a church i'd say they call it the mother church it actually used to be a church uh, once uh, I once I, I see, see the uh, once i see the auditorium and night ranger goes on i'll probably be doing that alley walk over yeah the <laughs> um <laughs> But um, we'll get you some hot chicken while you're at it. But it, yeah, if you read any of the history, I mean, you'll I mean, that's big reason why they they moved. There was no air conditioning in there and everything else. So uh, but then there is a Monday show um, the day after in Roanoke, Virginia. So um, there you go. Uh, Puerto Rico show February 11th. It's not really getting a lot of. You know, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it, but they're playing with Aria Speedwagon. The Rock Legends cruise. Um uh in you know, after that. And then if you're going to be in Tulsa or Salina, Kansas, 24th and 25th, I will see you at those shows. I will be um hitching a ride with them for those two shows. Uh Florida show, March 10th, and then you got that three-day run Anaheim, uh Utah and Nevada, 23rd, 24th, 25th. How many is going to the Rock to the Heart? I'm not going. able to make it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, Rock the Heart, April 22nd, Baltimore, Maryland. Yep. Um, 
should be a good time. Uh, usually that's the show they do in Fargo in the middle of dead ass winter. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can't Last remember. Year they did. They yeah, need I something can't... to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rick Springfield's doing it this year. I guess he got drafted, but, uh, um, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, Baltimore downtown's really nice. You know, you got the little, you know, all these restaurants in the water, uh, I'm trying to think where you at Rusty's or something like that. Go see an Orioles game. Um, good time. Uh, Winchester, California is only date in May. Are you going to the Sunbury, Pennsylvania show there? Yes, we got tickets for that too. 38 special at a winery. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so you'll be useless at that show. And Two of my favorite us. things. <laughs> we expect a lot of good, clear photos from you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm not drinking. 38 special well. and Night Ranger is an awesome bill, I, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see 38 special. I've yet to see them and I kind of hate that, but. I think I've I seen did them see twice. them open for Skinner. That was awesome too. I mean, I they may sound good live, you know, but like to me, like there's no like character characters yeah. in in Thirty Eight Special. Like mm -hmm. you know, you could put us up there, and I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. You know, where, well, and they've got two drummers, Josh, so that yeah. makes all the difference. Yeah, you know, all the great bands do. Um, <laughs> You know, to me, like I want to see, you know, Y and T, Dave Minichetti, and Night Ranger. Or, you know, I think D Snyder. If I mean, I, I saw D Snyder live once. He was probably the best front man I've ever seen. Yeah. And you know, you take that Twisted Sister, you know, catalog, and dude, you got a good 1984 era show. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I think the best would be <laughs> Foreigner, Night Ranger, and Def Leppard. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, I, you are. Tell wrong. me you wouldn't want to go to that. Oh, I, well, <laughs> if they all got a full set, yes. If Night Ranger's going to do 30 minutes, I've seen we that. We should go on before Duff. Uh, I've seen that show. Um, and I mean, Ford, I like seeing Foreigner. I mean, it's okay. But um, again, I'm seeing, you know, there's you know, nobody in it. Yeah. You know, Mick Jones occasionally, but even if Mick Jones is there, I still don't really care. Um, and then that Def Leppard show. Now, when I saw him on the stadium tour last year, they redeemed themselves. But when I saw oh. him and when I saw him in 2015, whatever song they opened up with off whatever album that it just sucked balls. And um, it was horrible. No, I know that one. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, and uh, I was like, I'm pretty much done with Def Leppard. Now, to me, you know, I don't want to do like, you know, I don't mind doing like the arena shows and stuff, but. You know, if you could do something like, you know, um, you know, like Night Ranger Y and T or I'm trying I to like think. Night Ranger sticks. I like the Lover those... Boy, but they should have been headlining for Lover Yeah, Boy. <laughs> I like Lover Boy too. Uh um, yeah. Sticks, you always got the chance of Tommy jumping out on stage with him for a couple of yeah. DIY yeah. songs. So I always enjoy that. Um hey, before yeah. I forget, Josh, do you know who's opening for Night Ranger at the Ryman? Um, that <laughs> would be um a, a local band called the ghost of hank williams where <laughs> they play all hank williams songs sped <laughs> up and they wear ghost makeup it's a queen's right tribute band no I'm uh, kidding. it's firefall do you have any remember remembrance of them i no lisa um, i have no idea who they are <laughs> so you know their songs they had a song called uh, you are the woman that i've oh yeah loved. yeah now, it sounds a little better than mine. I don't have all the effects <laughs> on my voice, you know. I do know that song, yeah. Um, they have ah, there's two more songs and I'm drawing a blank on them, but that's who's opening. So I was uh my better half is pretty excited about that because she loves that <laughs> stuff. I saw that they were opening and, and, and I looked it up. They still have the original lead singer. Do they? Um the drummer's been there since like eighty four and then the other guys are like a smattering of years afterwards. But uh, yes, uh, once you said that, well, first when you said Queen's White, Queen's White <laughs> tribute on, band, I thought, on, buddy. I thought you meant just the regular Queen's right because isn't that yeah. what that is now? Or Jeff Tate. Um, but, they uh, also had the song, uh, Just Remember I Love You. And it'll be all right. Man, they sound like a cheap mm. ripoff of April Wine. They might be. <laughs> um. But uh, uh, Mount Gilead, Ohio. Robin, where's that? 
<laughs> uh, is that near Lima? <laughs> uh, no, like north of uh, Columbus. Uh, it is directly okay. north of Columbus, maybe thirty minutes. Um, yeah. okay, if an hour and a half, possibly. maybe a little bit south of Mansfield. Um, Seventy-one um, south past Grandpa's Cheese Barn and uh, no, two no. porn stores. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's that strip joint that has the night out front and. Uh, uh, my uh, my buddy past the cornfields too <laughs> uh my my buddy hates snakes right and i knew this well we go in there this this place is horrible there's like me him and like some mexicans or something and uh and there's a stripper there with a snake i'm like oh this is the best thing ever so i gave her like 20 <laughs> <laughs> gave her 20 bucks to go over to my so my buddy's like it's like both extremes like you know boobies snake you know the things i love the most the things i hate the most right there in front of them and i'm just sitting there drinking my beer having a good time but anyways yes you're right uh andy uh a lot of the best things are on that uh are on 71 north or are, south it doesn't matter yeah grandpa's cheese <laughs> when is that again uh, robin's like i'm going now uh oh, june God, 20, no. now, Ju now that mount gilead show is kind of like the uh mardi gras you know but it's not considered that mardi gras tour it's it's the freedom fest but it's brett michaels night ranger and jefferson uh, okay. starship um mm. there um june 30th algona iowa um, that should be a birthday show for me I, and I also love mansfield and i need any excuse to go to mansfield <laughs> oh, there, there you go um uh there is i think a show going to be the day before iowa out there in the midwest somewhere but it has not been announced yet july 8th gettysburg pennsylvania oh yeah so four score and seven years ago night ranger <laughs> um, well, four score and seven wishes ago Ooh, i'll turn yeah. my mic off Ooh, <laughs> look at you look you at, can't top that look at you <laughs> um and then after that you start the you know the mardi gras tour july 13th which is a I think a Thursday in basically Detroit, Michigan, and then Saturday, or Sunday, <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania, Burgettstown, which is what Pittsburgh, basically. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then New Jersey, the following weekend, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey. Um, and then after that, you got uh, July 28th, 29th, 30th, you got St. Louis, uh, Chicago, Noblesville, which is basically Indiana um uh, indianapolis indiana and then august 4th 5th 6th you got tampa um basically atlanta and um charlotte north carolina well Lisa, you, know you, could, you could fire over to jersey what is that about a four or five hour drive yeah about uh, five hours there you go we were thinking about going to the burgerstown one or going down to charlotte north carolina but i'm not sure yet we didn't get tickets but we, if we would go, it would we wouldn't want good tickets anyway. We're just gonna go yeah. and have fun. Yeah. We're just gonna go and drink wine in the lawn. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean that's how I am. Like Kiss just announced they're doing the uh, oh. Sonic Temple in Columbus, and it's oh, like yeah. you know, one, I'm way too fucking old to be doing all day festivals. You know. <laughs> um, but like they're so close, like I would just buy the cheapest ticket and go up and see Rob Zombie and and uh, Kiss. What's funny is when that used to be what what was it before Rock on the Range? Mm -hmm. um, me and my buddy bought Rock the first tickets for the Rock on the Range, and then we had to sell it because we had Drill Weekend for the military that weekend. Like fuck, and <laughs> I don't I don't know if the military was in cahoots with them, but every year for like the first seven years of that event. We had drill weekend the same weekend as Rock on the Range. So I've actually never, you know, it's one of the biggest festivals right up the road from me. And I've never um, yeah. been to it. So, uh, but yeah, uh, Night Ranger news besides the tour dates, there's not much um, else right now. Um, nothing new on the DVD or Waste of Time or anything um, like that. So unfortunately, Robin and lisa and andy i don't have anything else really in the uh, night ranger community but if we branch off a little bit joel hoekstra now what i would tell you to do is if you're a joel hoekstra fan joel hoekstra being 
former Night Ranger guitarist uh, from about 2007, 2015, 14 in there, played on the album High Road, played on the album um, Somewhere in California, currently traveling around the globe with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, also a member of the White Snake. Um, he does these uh, gigs with Brandon Gibbs, who um, does oh, some... from Yeah, the Cheap Thrill with Cinderella. Well, that, and he well, does... Guys. He does backup vocals for Poison, um, so he yeah. was he was on that summer tour, you know, in all those dates, kind of off side stage. You could see him, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, h- helping them with vocals. So those do those two do tours, you know, do dates together. Um, it was last year, probably around this time. Me and Brent went and saw him down at MVPs in Cincinnati, and so uh, again, follow like Brandon Gibbs music or something Facebook and and instagram and you can get all these dates but um march 3rd they're in richmond indiana march 4th down in cincinnati and march 5th in braidwood illinois so hey you know you're close by in the midwest you can go see joel hoekstra and get that uh that album cover somewhere in california signed or whatever you want and then you always talk about UK. We never get to see Night Ranger. Well, guess what? <laughs> These two yahoos are going to the UK. They're going to be in the UK from <laughs> April 11th to the 23rd. <laughs> you know, like what in the hell? Um, yeah, they're playing all kinds of places and like pretty much every day in between those um, they're playing. So all kinds of dates in the UK from the 11th to the 23rd, uh, May 12th and 13th. They're in uh Jenny Esso, something like that, New York. Uh, then in September, uh, they're in Connecticut and Pauling, New York. So, hey, you got a member of Night Ranger out there, um, you know, playing some dates. So, and he's go. one of the sweetest, most humble, down to earth yeah, guys ever. Mm-hmm. Like, I met him when he was here with White Snake, and he was just awesome. <laughs> and the yeah. show is, it's basically acoustic um but they'll play covers they'll play some poison some white snake they played a few tracks off of um joel solo records which you know i recommend both but his first one's really great um just the jewel hooks are 13 uh, what dying to live or something like that uh so you got that um uh fits I don't think he's doing anything right now. I'm not no, sure. No tour dates. That makes um, me sad. No. Um, <laughs> and uh, I did post a cool photo I'd never seen before. Uh, yeah. Um, of Fitz. Um, anything with the man of mystery, I'm all here for. <laughs> yeah. um, well, here's here's a you know one of these things just pop in my head. Uh, I remember Kelly telling me Fitz is the one who showed him about putting foil aluminum foil on the windows to block out all the light you know so like you know if they're tr- you know they're on the road and trying to get yeah. sleep during the day um he you know back in the early tours Fitz, yeah, showed him that but uh um, i love that but yeah <laughs> sounds very conspiracy theorist well if you're putting it on you know, you know, <laughs> you know you gotta put you know, the foil on your head you gotta put the foil on your head and they're coming for your gas stoves um so, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the Night Ranger news, unless you guys think I'm missing something. Um, Robin, there, huh? What? What you got there? Said, um, what, what you got? French fry? Mm-hmm. Big Mac? Um, all right, Lisa, that Steve Perry picture's got to go. You know, this ain't a journey. Oh, this whole <laughs> room is almost well, it's half and half now. It's mostly see perry you know but... <laughs> i will get the same the voice i will get a picture yes. of myself <laughs> uh, i will have it printed at your local cvs and you can hang that up there and um uh, yeah. i don't, I don't know if no i have room. room for you josh yes yeah. i don't see any room there at all for josh <laughs> there's there's room all right so let's do you know night ranger collectibles or whatever um look at this that is that new I mean, I got like seven of those. <laughs> yeah, I have one of each color. Jeez. Four or five. So um, when they kind of did like a little warehouse uh, digging, they put stuff up on the 
website for sale, they had yellow vinyl back in stock. And I let it sit there for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And there was five copies. I added like, you know, 10 to the cart and it would say, can't do that. You know, then I would do eight. Can't do that. Well, <laughs> five I could. And um, I did it like a week later. All five were still there. A week later, five were all there. I'm like, fuck it. I'm getting them. You know, so I got them maybe down the road. I can trade them or something like that. I just thought the yellow always looked the best anyways. And it was probably the one I had the least of. I probably only had like eight copies of that one. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's always good when you can get new Night Ranger in the mail. And um, that's what I did. Um, I think I've shown this before, but um, I... I wish that one company would make a Seven Wishes final, like the the, the first oh, two. The, uh, the yeah, I know what you're talking about. What is that you know, rock? Uh... Yeah, you know what's really weird is they're supposed to be limited to a thousand copies, and <laughs> well, the Dawn Patrol you can't find, but to okay. you know you can still get the colored Midnight Madness. So it's like, why you know I can't see one selling that incredibly much more than the other yeah why i would that? think it'd be the other way around honestly yeah. more midnight man <laughs> yeah so, but i do have this some sheet music um to i'm going to take care of everything by rubicon, rubicon Look at yeah that. who's that guy <laughs> there's jack blades there's Dennis his Mosley. favorite glasses <laughs> yeah there's mr greg eckler um Aww. friend of the podcast max bradley yeah. Jerry Martini, Jim Pugh's right there. Um, Max unfortunately passed away about 20 years ago, and Greg a couple years ago, and Dennis just this year. Um, but there you go. Um, some Rubicon sheet music to their only top 40 hit. I think it peaked at um, 39, if I remember correctly. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else do we got here? This cost me more than I wanted to pay, but I would have <laughs> did it. So, Korean Seven Wishes. I, I'm not what sure the heck? That's what horrible it, looking. Well, I'm not Copyright. sure <laughs> what. Well, it's probably, a, it's a counterfeit. Um, yeah. But, but uh, um, I'm not sure, but some of these records in the 80s were with this blue font. So I don't know what that's all about. If you know, and like me, I, I haven't done the research, but you can tell it's kind of like zero, you know, like Xerox or copied because you got the hype sticker there, but, <laughs> but it's it's on the actual. Um, and there's the back. It's got that, you know, blue to it. Uh, I think it looks I mean, really I, cool, like a nighttime thing. And, I mean, I love the fact that whoever was printing it goes, looks good. <laughs> identical to what we just copied you're never uh, gonna know <laughs> never know press them print them so uh but here's the label <laughs> so, if you needed more evidence of it being <laughs> like <laughs> uh, but uh have you actually listened to it like is it actually night range or is it just some random album with a <laughs> Like a label. Is on it an it. order? <laughs> well, from it could be uh, TMG, Josh. Tech magic. Yeah, yeah there uh, you go, bud. Something. That's yeah. a pull. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know how those usually ended up in the states was you'd have servicemen in, you know, South Korea. They would get these, and then when they got back to the states, they'd either, you know, bring them with them or just leave them there. But um, they used to be kind of—I won't say commonplace, but I used to see them a lot more you know 20 years ago and you just don't see them as um much now and finally you know just imagine it's 1984 and yeah. what are we going to do tonight let's get together let's going to skyline a... i'm gonna cruise the boulevard and go get some skyline chill. no we're no gonna, we're gonna, not at all we're going to invite some white friends, castle friends <laughs> together and we're going to have an all-nighter <laughs> that is uh well, that looks like my group of friends, but we never posed for that picture. <laughs> so before you had streaming and all that stuff, you would buy stuff like this, the all-nighter. 
right? Four records um, in here. And Solid I must, gold hits right there. I yeah. must admit, it is all over the place, and it's good. Um, <laughs> I got it because Night Ranger Sister Christian is on record one side B. Um, but I'll just go off record one side A. Um, Flashdance. Mickey. Oh, what? I hate that song. <laughs> Maniac. Funky Town. The One You Love by Glenn Fry, And We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. And then Side B, Van Halen Jump, Party Train by Gat, Gat Band, Jive Talking by the Bee Gees, oh, Sister yeah. Christian by Night Ranger, and Gloria. It just flows. Gloria. You know, it's just like I said, it's all over the place. Like uh, if I was making a mixtape, it would look <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll <laughs> jump in at all. We'll jump to record four, side A. <laughs> Who can it be now? Men at work. Uh, 8675309, Tommy Tutone, I won't hold you back, Toto, talking in your sleep. Long cool woman in a black dress, the Hollies. Uh, come on, feel the noise, quiet riot, and then side B, high on you, survivor, free ride, Edgar Winter, um, which a lot of people do not know that um, uh, Dan Hartman wrote that song, um, sang the song, and played the bass on the song. Yeah, I, I think he might have even played uh, that intro guitar part, but. Uh, uh, for those that don't know, Dan Hartman had the big hit. Um, I can dream about. I can you. dream about uh, you. Yep. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I but yes, that test. Uh, he also wrote. <laughs> uh, Break my stride, almost paradise, Louis, yes. Louis, 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 and total eclipse of the heart. Um, so yeah. Uh, I have to say something now, and this is uh, this is all seriousness. If you ever would have seen my band playing back in the, the 10 years ago, you would have heard the majority of the songs you just listed. I listened to <laughs> most of those, too. My, minus a lot of the, the – um, we didn't do Jive Talking. Uh, we didn't do the Toto song, but yeah. How about like all of Side A in that first record? <laughs> well, yeah, probably. So, Lisa, we, we had a female singer for a while, oh. so we, we would do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and if not, we made our male singer sing it, which always made him happy. <laughs> Because we do, we always put like straight up by Paul Abdul like at the yeah. first set, and he's like, "Why?" Ah. I was like, "Nate, there's nothing more fun than watching you sing that song for me." <laughs> so, like when I've been going to you know parties and stuff now, um, I bring this record because I want us to be like this. But then I discovered, hey, maybe they don't have that medium, you know, to play that. So I got this as well. <laughs> oh my lord! Um, now wow. It's, you know, they obviously condense it, uh, condense it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was part. You know, I do. I just saw this where it says tape one. Yeah. Um, so I didn't see that at first, but this had, you know, the night, you know, Sister Christian on it. So, you know, I had to get that. But uh, there you go. Um, good some stuff. good stuff. So that's all the Night Ranger collectibles that I I got. Um. Did you get any Night Ranger stuff for Christmas there, Lisa? I did. I got, I don't know if you can see it. It's it's behind me. It's the Midnight Madness. Yeah. It's like a big vinyl printout my son got me. That's a good kid there. Keep him. Yeah. Mm. It's crooked on the wall, though. I When I, when I hung it, it looks crooked. So I have to oh, fix that. It doesn't look bad from here. <laughs> mm. And but I, I got... have two pictures of my house that are crooked that I think look fine. <laughs> but everybody else tells you they're crooked <laughs> no my wife's like we, are you ever going to fix it? i was like it looks fine yeah it bothers me so i'll fix it um <clears throat> and then i bought um their their wand holders like harry potter wand holders and i put my drumsticks on them <laughs> oh that's a good idea yeah i saw somebody did that and it was a good idea i thought so i got some of those so i have my drumsticks on the wand holders <laughs> love that that's a good I idea i don't have any yeah i've never had an idea i've been trying to think of something from mine <laughs> i just and recently got my one? picks put into a a display yeah my, dr my drumsticks are just sitting in a box that i collect <laughs> <laughs> like you know like the good problem i have is like i'll be doing something and you know like i was walking in my kitchen the other day and i kicked something i'm like what the fuck is that i looked down it was like you know a jack blades pick somehow on the floor uh, <laughs> good you know, problem to have right yeah well the other day i was you know doing something on my dresser and i found like a couple other night ranger guitar picks and it's like you know this is 
good problems to have, I guess, if you think <laughs> about it. But uh, um, falling out of your pants or something? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just <laughs> it can Jack Blades guitar pick. Yeah. I'm sorry, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> or you have a cat that gets into your stuff. Well, it could be the cat. Uh, <laughs> It could be the cat or just me just, you know, coming home from a weekend show and throwing my shit somewhere and then not thinking about it. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, fan in motion, uh, Brent Walter posted 40 years ago today, Andy and I saw Night Ranger for our very first time opening yeah. for Kiss in Dayton, Ohio, Dawn Patrol tour. Our young lives were changed forever. And this was also our first time seeing Kiss. I cannot speak for Andy, but he probably should because Andy would have no thoughts of yeah. his own because he does not remember. But my 14-year-old mind was in overdrive during and after seeing this show. And there's his guitar. Yeah. There you go. Uh, ticket stub. Ticket stub, yeah. And so 40 years, you old fuck. We saw him. I, I, we say this all the time. We have seen them. <laughs> although Josh has pointed out we did miss a great opportunity. When they played Bogarts, like mm -hmm. died after or something, right after, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've seen Night Ranger on every tour they've been through Cincinnati. Um, it, and I said, except for the we missed that yeah. one off, but uh, I'm pretty happy to say that we've seen them on every tour. I mean, we were there in the very beginning with it. Uh, I mean, we were going for Kiss, but we we all knew Don't Tell Me You Love Me, and we were just like, man, this song is so good. And mm -hmm. Brent had already had the album, so I by you know, I had a cassette of it. He made me a copy of it, and uh, fucking we've fire. never looked back. It was uh, fucking amazing. Now, let me think here. So you had that show, Midnight Madness. You had the broad singing yeah. chipping away. I had went with the uh, late the head <laughs> captain of the drill team. Yeah. All right. So what? Uh, is it seven? Not, she was not my date. Don't ever misunderstand. <laughs> that was a, she went in out of sympathy. Um. <laughs> But I took it. Uh, and I, was it B Seven Wishes or Big Life where you guys fell asleep waiting for tickets? Seven Wishes. All right. Camped uh, out, got sick. Of, and I actually I got, I mean, you said guitar picks. I actually have, this is a Jack Blades pick from that show. I caught that back in the day. 19? Nice. Ernie Ball? Yeah. Um, so what hygiene and then man in motion was the the infamous ho ho incident. Um, I don't like to talk a lot about that. It's embarrassing. So, so what was big life? Big life they still played Riverbend. I know, but like did a hobo jerk off behind a dumpster or something? Yeah. I, well, that. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying, but it didn't impact the show one way or the other. We still went. Um, no, no hijinks in that one. We we just. You went to the show. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's going on, man? Just hanging right. out. Well, show. from here or on, Andy out... doesn't remember. So. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, Roy, I, yeah. Get Brent on, he would probably tell you exactly something yeah. crazy that happened. Yeah, it I was am... it was Hobo Steve, you know, <laughs> using his left hand. The only show that I, the trip that I truly remember was the long trip out to California for Neverland. Uh, that one I vividly remember, but uh, everything else, I'm like, mm, pretty sure I was there. I have a ticket stub, and Brent says I was there, so. <laughs> I'm the same way with like relationships, you know, I'll be talking to some, yeah. you know, lady and she's like, yeah, you know, I can't, you know, dated, you know, we were, it was a good eight months we were together. I'm like, huh? That you sounds know? right. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, uh, you know, booze and cocaine will do that to you. Um, hey, look at this. Jackie Hunt um, posted this picture of her and her friends meeting Jack Blade styling yeah. and profiling yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> back in 19... Um, 87 i had uh, some shirts like those flower print ones i'm not gonna lie you know what i always remember we from <laughs> like good 19, thank you lisa you know <laughs> from the remember uh remember wendy's had those jam hats yeah that were like yeah. all kinds of different colors and stuff oh the 80s i posted this jeff watson from the big life tour a double v um, and there's so few photos out there but uh um joe casamata posted some of his photos um blossom he said yeah. yes right there so it's always good see you know and i wish there was footage and stuff because it was an all purple stage right andy you God, know so cool. the keyboards were purple and like the the the, For, the big, what, life. big life yeah 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 um 
So I was going to show you while we're talking. I, you know, I, I mean, I wore this on the the video the other day. But I yeah, well, we'll get there. Okay. Um, hey, listen, there's ladies on this podcast. You're getting them all. I, do you want me to you're, take it off and try getting, it again? No, you're, you're getting them all riled up. Hang there. on. Hang on. I just yeah. remember the first time you wore that. <laughs> ladies, Man. ladies, control yourselves. It's not. Uh, it's it's hard. better days. Um. Jay Mitchell posted his vinyl collection, which is always good. I like seeing people. What was he missing, Josh? Um, well, the, the the obvious one would have been greatest hits, you know, from the classic era. Um, but if you really got into it, he would be missing uh, Don't Let Up. And yes, the Live in Japan 97 one that they just released yeah. on colored vinyl. Um, so... There, um, I want to go back to that. Um, Eric uh, Sevenson posted his ATBPPO, the uh, red vinyl. Um, his favorite track is Monkey, dumb title, but fantastic song. <laughs> uh, I love I love the riff, but um, yeah. Um, Monkeys and rock and roll. And it, it's like <laughs> they go hand in hand. Well, it's really like you know, I mean y'all are monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> we are. So, so it's like to me, like great riff. What can trump a great riff and just defeat it? Not much. <laughs> but the word monkey can. Got right? an idea. <laughs> Hear me out. Like Michelle Nelson um has her dog uh Filbert styling and profiling with the uh yeah, with her uh, the Night Ranger dog bandana, which you can get at the Night Ranger store, yeah. www.nightranger.com. Go to the store, and for fifteen bucks, you can get that. I posted this for Rob in Montrose Monday. Look at that! <laughs> Look there, there's the Fitzmeister. Look at that guy. Um, this would be the lineup after uh, the lineup when Sammy was in the band. And the lead singer, which I can't remember his name right off the top of my head, he just passed away um, uh, just recently. Then um, Robin Luditi. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's weird when he's so by face in front of me. I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> showing, showing off her fans in motion shirt. Uh, so if you're interested in those, get a hold of us. Uh, 25 bucks. That includes shipping. Um, a lot of people are, are getting them and you're going to be part of the cool club, you know, like, <laughs> you know, and that's all it takes is that shirt. Like Andy, not cool. Fans of motion shirt, the coolest. Um, I have mine on. You just can't see it. <laughs> ah, um, and, uh, but yeah, just send me a, a PM on the old, uh, Facebook machine and I will get you that info um <clears throat> uh how do you say uh, her name is Larray? i don't know Larray, you tell me uh nordley samuels look at that posting some of her her merch intake with the fans in motion shirt um we got the set list from vegas when they played vegas on um December 30th. Uh rumors was in there. Bring it all home to me, which someone posted. So that was kind of cool. You don't yeah. then know if I've actually seen a whole video of it. Um, but uh some good stuff. I like that one so much more than breakout. <laughs> I'm the other way around. Um <laughs> I'm so holding uh, out for dance, so dance and tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh or just Randy... keep wasted time in the set. Yeah. yeah. Randy Vukovic digging through my VHS tapes and found my original bootleg Midnight Madness uh, signed by Jack. Um, posted some of those. He said he has some footage, not a lot, but of uh, from the Moon Ranger era. And so oh, I, yeah. I messaged him and told him his only mission in life is <laughs> to get that. Um, <laughs> Um, so Andy, yes, sir, posted present a, uh, a great uh tribute video. Um, 
on the page. I need to pin that to the top while I'm thinking about it. Uh, Andy, tell us a little bit about, because uh, you kept it, you know, that was something you did on your own. We, yeah, you know, we didn't know about it and you did a great job on it. Tell us, you know, just how that came about. So, uh, yeah, as we knew we were approaching episode 100 and uh, for, I mean, I think, I don't know, I think it's a pretty big deal uh, from something that started out very small. We've grown pretty big and uh, that's what I she wanted. Said. Yeah. I wanted to uh I wanted to do something um to say thank you to to the everybody on the page and to Josh and Brent because uh you know I was kind of a, the the last guy added to the uh, the equation and uh I reached out to a, a handful of people Robin was one of them uh, who got back to me and uh I begged them all you got to keep this quiet <laughs> and we started doing this in like uh November yeah, yeah. and I was sitting on it because, you know, we knew the holidays were coming. I was like, I don't know when Josh is going to do the 100th episode. So I'm sitting on it and sitting on it and I'm waiting and like, God. and then when he finally posted it, I realized I hadn't finished editing the video. <laughs> so, uh, and I hadn't shot my little part. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to say. So, um, yeah, I sat through it and uh, kind of, if you scripted it out a little bit, pieced it together and watched that video about five times in a row. With all the editing and making sure I tried to spell names correctly, I'm pretty sure I did. And then the transitions, <laughs> and then uh, at the last minute, good, I was Andy. like, "Last minute, I was like, I'm gonna throw the uh, uh, my f <sighs> probably my favorite Night Ranger song on the end." Oh, I know, I love that. <laughs> I, I <cried>. just <laughs> uh, man, and I also thought it was somewhat fitting because I I think I made a very vocal point to, to always say, you know, you're never alone at a concert anymore mm -hmm. so then we have with don't start thinking i'm alone i'm like i'm kind of you know opposite of what i just said but uh, <laughs> i'm not alone you know uh, we were and uh, i was just scouting for some pictures real quick and i threw in what i could find um i had some more i wanted to put but it was it would have been more of just pictures of me with and i was like <laughs> I know I anyway, but i wanted to robert i was so close to the uh, i have a picture of me and fitz um oh. and i just uh is that a polaroid yeah, yeah. I remember that. I mean, I've, you've seen it. Yeah, but I've that, yes, posted no. <laughs> them before, and uh, I was like, I'm gonna throw that up for just to honor Fitz. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was, I was really rushing to get it posted, so I was like, I'll, <laughs> I'll save it for something else down the road, maybe. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. I thought it turned out pretty good. I hope everybody liked it, and uh, you know, you name some of the names of the people that were on there. Well, you had, um, you it's know, Melissa, I, Kathy. Yep. Mark did a Mark did a nice little thing. Um, Janice, uh, Emily, I can't. I don't Emily. know how to say Janice's last name. Um, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try it too. And uh, Dave Nadelman <laughs> and uh, Shapin Shapin and yeah. uh, Rich Jenkins. Um, who Emily else? Emily Medler forget? was on there. Linda, uh, Linda, super tall oh, yeah. Linda. Super tall Linda. She makes me feel short. <laughs> oh my god, and she's so funny and. Uh, I like her video. She's like, hi, I'm Linda. I'm the tall girl that's blocking everybody's view. Yeah. <laughs> she sat right in front of me in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And she's such a sweetheart. And, you know, like you said, uh, Kathy and, and Melissa. And, uh, yeah, it was cool. Uh, I, I had a lot of people get to me. Uh, oh, and Masa, the guy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the oh little guitar who Robin. Yeah. Uh, it's video. funny, Robin. <laughs> so when, I don't know if you remember, when I reached out to you for the pictures, Masa said he tried. He reached out to you, but you didn't get back to him. I said, "Hold on, I'll get a line to Robin. She'll get back to me." And I, because you had pictures. I it must have been a like a message request then, but right, I also you, posted it like literally every single photo I had from that night in yeah. those multiple posts because I, I took and so many. I wanted the, Dave to get to the whole view of everything. For those that don't know, he made these miniature guitars, two sizes, one a little bit bigger than the other. <laughs> and I mean, they were replicas, replicas, um, you know, uh, I don't know. One was maybe not. I mean, they're, you know, they're, you know, miniatures. Uh, and he gave one to Brad on stage and then he, he, he still had one. And yeah. So you guys hooked him up with photos and yeah, he was putting uh, together a collage. And if you remember at the show, he, Brad hands him Bubba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I remember I was talking to uh, 
I think it was Mark was next to me. I was like, there's no way he's keeping that guitar. There's yeah. no, I will, I will slide <laughs> tackle that guy on the way out. I think I can take him. And well, uh, well, I he did it. I, I mean, yeah. he had it with lights in it too. Like it's not it just did everything. Like yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was right. You know, perfect to a T. Um, you know, Brad will do that sometimes. Like, and you know, <laughs> have my the, most prized possession. <laughs> well, and, and, you hold it. And the crew, you know, will keep an eye out. But um, there was one show I was at, and I was, you know, maybe doing video or something at the very end, and I was right in front of Brad, and there was this woman, you know, intoxicated. Um, kept running down like behind you know getting on my back basically trying you know Brad, you know trying to get shit and then people you know security take her back and next thing you know she'd run down <laughs> well um you know i'm standing there and you know maybe just like the camera like this next thing i know brad throws the you know you know puts his hand out with the guitar and i kind of okay i'm holding it and I, you know, he gave it to me and I'm like, holy, all right, now I'm holding this motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm worried about the broad behind me. Like, oh my God, she's going to come down, tack, you know, hit me in the back again. I'm going to drop this motherfucker. <laughs> um, and, you know, um, you know, I, I'm trying to get my phone put away. So I got a, you know, an elbow to, um, but, uh, you know, uh, luckily, I don't know, she didn't. <laughs> come down at that point but it's uh they're like oh no <laughs> yeah. not again <laughs> but yeah it's like you know we'd be doing a podcast uh when was the last show bubba was played well uh, <laughs> oddly enough yeah but all i could think about was that woman you know because it, it was like the last you know how people towards the end you know just yeah. come down and do and she was and mm -hmm. um that might have been the reason why i was standing there the, you know kind of you know keep a little bit of space or something i can't remember now but um but yeah it's uh it's you know it was probably a very cool thing for him when to hold know, it to, to, yeah. you know i'm waiting for the person he does that too and they just turn around and hide off it. um so um it's the good Jack's stuff. comment about oh you shouldn't leave it in the washing machine too long <laughs> <laughs> that was fun that was a fun night um all right uh lisa what 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 grade are you giving lisa andy oh uh, an a she's awesome <laughs> robin what grade are you giving lisa a plus ah, a plus i'll give you a c that way c minus from josh you, you'll bring it down <laughs> you know well that's what i always tell people i'm like don't give me like the highest grade because then number one you expect that of me all the time you know <laughs> Like I want to be right around the seventy percent level, right? <laughs> so when I kick in the eighty percent, you know, you're gonna be like, "Wow, room for improvement," and like <laughs> shit like that, like uh, um, low expectations. Yeah. Like, but like I yeah. always—that's one thing I did like about MySpace, right? Like I knew, you know, where I was with certain broads by where I was in their top eight. You know, like, oh, I go, you know, like, oh, fuck, I didn't answer her call last night. I go to her page. Ah, I'm down to number seven now. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I never like being number one because, again, that's a lot of, you know, I, I just want to be right there, not, you know. Uh, but, yeah, that was you the best. You don't want to be important enough to be. It was, it was, it was kind of like, you know, college football rankings, right? I knew where I stood in the top eight. You know, if there's some chick I'm trying to impress and suddenly I'm there, hey, all right, I'm doing something good, you know. Um you know, like, you know, or if I drop, like, ah, I shouldn't have took her to Arby's. I should have took her to Olive Garden. Um, so, <laughs> oh, uh, um, well, you know, I thought they would like the big Montana. Um, I like some Arby's, man. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but Lisa, you did awesome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Rock and Robin, thank you, and McDonald's. <laughs> for, not um, sponsored <laughs> yet not for, yet um joining us uh and did you uh did you get a copyright strike or anything on that video you posted no all right uh you probably well, will well, if i post well, facebook do it i don't know um i don't you know direct load up to facebook very often um youtube will 
Yeah, so, no, I, well, I didn't put it on Don't you have to admit that it's not your work or whatever? Well, they'll copy, you know, they'll, it, they'll get a copyright strike now, depending on who it is. You know, like if you're doing prints, they they won't. Oh God, no! <laughs> they won't allow it. But if it's other acts, being someone like Night Ranger, th- um, if you make any money from the video, they get money. Um, yeah, royalty. You know, and uh, you know that's if we're you know using their music and getting a copyright claim. I mean, you're going to see them driving brand new Range Rovers and shit like that. So uh, <laughs> um, that's just how big our influence is. Yeah, I thought and about it, that when I made it. I was like, I'm not going to post it to YouTube. I'll just go direct and see what happens. Well, I want to put it up on YouTube just so you know yeah. more people can see it. So we'll see um, how it pans out. Uh, the one time I had a big copyright issue was with um, Carl Davino, okay. uh, front of house sound Night Ranger. Um, cause you know, he had those Cinderella stories and oh, print yeah. stories. And I, I think I put little tidbits of their song in there and those, that motherfucking algorithm found it quicker and shit. Really? Um, <laughs> I think Prince was very, the most smart than any musician where he does not want any of that. You have to buy it <laughs> for yeah. the most part. Yeah. And I super respect that. Yeah. Prince and the Bay, Prince and the Bay City Rollers. Um, so, uh. You're like, Andy's like, is that true or a joke? Um, <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> no, it's a joke. Uh, Speaking but, of the Bay City Rollers, who do you think sold more albums, Night Ranger or Bay City Rollers? <laughs> I do know this. I would say probably, you know, now. I would what say do you mean by album? <laughs> I would say probably two albums, but Bay City Rollers. Yeah. You know, because definitely worldwide. Massively. Yeah. Different. I mean, Bay City Rollers were like, massive and you know overseas and like yeah you know uh, they've sold something they're north of 100 million albums wow and night rangers hovers around you know 17 18 million i think is where they're at Mm -hmm. and i was like i saw that i was like wait what i was like wait a minute (laughs) i'm like calling friends i'm like quick name me name me three bay city roller songs and i'll give you the first one what else you got and they're like i have no idea i was like 100 million albums sold 100 million (laughs) Yeah, and that was back in the day where they probably made ten thousand dollars and yeah you know um but uh all right so thank you for joining <laughs> us uh everybody leaves a comment and tell us how great lisa and robin <laughs> did and wish you know andy say something to andy because he'll probably not be on the next episode because he's dying he's um dead. so <laughs> what as the sun hides its head for another night's rest. <laughs> I was uh, never much good at goodbyes, Josh. So, uh, but uh, listen, if you're you're out there, um, you know, watching this, click subscribe to the YouTube machine. It warms my fucking cold heart. Uh, go to Facebook. Uh, follow us on there. Go to the Instagram. Uh, a lot of different stuff on Instagram. So uh, follow us there as well. You can go to fansinmotion.com because we are professionals. And you can, um, from there, you can find us on Spotify, um, iHeartRadio, uh, Pandora, Apple. Is it uh, Apple? Apple, Apple, Apple you Podcasts. Know, you know, iTunes. Are you still on Stitcher? Is like usually the last one Andy always remembers. <laughs> uh, it's funny is you guys can see off, off camera. Is I have a cheat sheet. I'm always like yeah. Spotify, <laughs> Audio Mac. <laughs> I think and I can't read my writing because I wrote it in red ink and I'm like, Shh. it's either, uh, you know, uh, hey, uh, Lisa's Wang Chung. Um, but uh, uh, um, if, if it's either Audio Mac or um, Stitcher, you can go back and get every episode. And I think the rest are only like the last 10. Now on the website, you can go back and get them all as well. You just have to, you know, click and it'll it'll get all the others so follow us on there um let us know if you're going to some shows hopefully we see a lot of you this spring and summer lisa that's it hopefully midnight madness 40 Uh, celebration from them (laughs) that would be great (laughs) probably you know that'll hit in november um uh lisa 
Shout Tell out. everybody goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. And, uh, you, girl, Robin. <laughs> Tell everybody, ugh, 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 you, uh, Hulk smash. <laughs> Andrew, tell everybody goodbye. Goodbye, and don't forget the roof of our Bengals this weekend. Who day? <laughs> I, I mean, will, it's priorities. I will be at the game, so keep an eye out. You know, I'll be the good looking. The guy, guy getting escorted out. <laughs> yeah, gonna take over the stadium's jukebox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing doing the icky shuffle the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, guys. If you're out there listening still. Thank you for joining us. We will see you maybe next week. Who knows? Later.